Welcome to Open Box Education. In this video, I am going to explain about the Assembly Language Program Development Tools. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So the various softwares that are facilitate the programmer to create file, assembler the source program and after that we can execute the program and finally we can find the bugs within the program, nothing but debugging of the program. So these are called that assembly language development tools. So here we have so many types of assembly language development tools are there. Those are that editor, assembler, linker, debugger, locator and finally we have emulator is there. So these are the assembly language program development tools. So let us discuss each one in next slides. So the first one is that editor. So an editor is a program that allows the user to create a file containing the text, programs or data. So within this editor, the user can modify the text by inserting the characters or words. Or we can delete the characters, words and lines within this editor. So within this editor, we can use the mouse and cursor keys by using those one, we can move around the screen and modify the program. So when the text editor program is typed, the editor stores the corresponding ASCII values in successive locations in RAM. So when the user gives that same command, the entire file saved in the hard disk for future reference. For this editor, the examples are DOS editor, VI editor and Notas editor. So these are the most popular editors that are used in PC environment. So the DOS editor can be involved using the following command that is edit bubble.asm. So when you are typing this one, a file by name bubble.asm is created and the user can type the bubble sort program and save the file in the hard disk for future reference. So this is about the editor. So in this editor, you can do whatever you want that is entering the text, deleting the text and you can move the cursor around the screen in everywhere. So this is about the editor. And next one is that assembler. So an assembler is a translator which translates the program written in an assembly language into machine language. This is nothing but simply we can say that the assembler can translate this assembly language into a, a machine language. So for each assembly language instruction, the corresponding machine instruction is generated by the assembler. Thus, the output of the assembler is a, a machine language. So here, if you see this one, here we have that assembly language program is there. So by using this assembler, we can translate this ALP program into machine language. So here we have the some assemblers are there. Those are that MASM. Simply we can call it as a Microsoft Macro Assembler. And we have another one is there, TASM, we can call it as a Turbo Assembler. TASM is developed by Boland Corporation. Now let us see how we can invoke that MASM Assembler. So by simply typing that MASM MASM bubble, then we can invoke that MASM Assembler. So after typing the above command at the prompt, that is in DOS prompt, if there are no errors, the assembly language program has been successfully converted into equivalent machine language. If there are errors within the program, then what happened? Here it will show that the error occurred instruction by representing that line number. That is, if there are any errors, the assembler gives the listing with the type of error, line number, where the error is present so that the user can edit and correct the programs very easily. That is here, which will give that error, line number and where that error is occurred. So this information is provided to the user so that the user can correct and edit that program very easily. So this is about that assembler. And next one we have the linker is there. So using the assembler, we may create one or more object files. So by using this linker, we can generate that one or more object files. So the linker is a program that allows the user to combine different object programs into a, a single large file that can be executed. 
so generally this linker will accept the program and produce that the dot exe file that can be executable file and next one we have the locator is there so a locator is a program that is used to assign a, a specific address of each object code during loading so for example the locator program exe 2 bin as the name indicates that converts an executable file into a, a binary file so the binary file always has a, a physical address so this is about the locator and next one we have the debugger is there generally this debugger which is used to find out the logical errors within the program that is find out the bugs that is nothing but find out the errors within the program so debugger is a program that allows the user to load the object program into memory and execute the program so program can be executed in single step to pinpoint the various logical errors within the program so during single stepping the user can see the contents of registers and memory locations very easily because here the user is doing that single stepping of execution instead of going for a single step execution the user can set the breakpoint at any point within the program so that he can execute the program up to the breakpoint and after that the user can execute the program in single stepping mode so here this is about the debugger and next one we have the emulator is there emulator is a combination of software and hardware so emulators are used to test and debug the hardware and software of an external system so this is about the emulator so thank you very much for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe to my channel open box education I am Suresh Burja, Department of ECE.